Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create um, an ice cream cone. Um, and this is where we're headed. Okay, this is what we're going to make. Of course, you can change the color of your ice cream if you want. Um, but just to show you, we're going to start off with that. Okay, so we're starting off with a photo. We are changing it into a more cartoonish style, which is what we're going to do with our full body portraits. Um, we're going to change that into a cartoon style. So we're practicing with something simple. And an ice cream cone is what we all love. So we're going to do that. Okay, simple shape as well. So I'm going to close this up. Uh, and so you should open up Illustrator. Okay, open up Illustrator, make sure that it looks kind of like this. And um, please download the picture of the ice cream from StudyWiz. Get it on your desktop so you're ready. Okay, tablet should be um, plugged into your computer and you should just be able to get some movement with the stylus on your screen. Make sure that it's responding. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, file new. Please put your class number and your name, oops, and ice cream. Okay, and A4 size is great. Um, we're, we're doing the portrait orientation, which is the default, so that's fine. And then you can just press OK. Okay, so here we are, we've started. Now what we're gonna do is place the photo of the ice cream in here. So in order to do that, just go up to File, and go to place. Now before you actually double click your ice cream photo file, please click here on template. Very important. Okay, this this actually places the ice cream picture at a bottom layer, so it's ready for tracing for us. You know, isn't that nice that they already have that set? So template is checked and I go to my ice cream file, double click it, it's gonna open. Beautiful. Now, if your file for some reason is small, don't worry about it. The cool thing about Illustrator is that when you're done with your, like creating your image, you can always zoom in, crop it, very, very easy. So um, that's the beauty of Illustrator. It's not going to make it like pixelated or anything. Okay, so now the first thing we're gonna do is here, layers. Okay, double click that if it isn't open yet. And we have layer one, we're going to rename it outline. Okay, so we're gonna outline the ice cream with a black outline. To do that, we're going to use the tool on the left side here called the Blob Brush Tool. Okay, double click that. Fidelity, about 1.5. The size, I think I'm going to make mine about 3. Okay, that's the size of my point. Variation, I'm going to make my variation about 5. Maybe 4. <laughs> You, you know, you, this basically means that um, if you press hard, it'll be a thicker line. So it's dependent on pressure, right? And this is what you can get by using a tablet. You can't get this using your trackpad or anything. So pressure, four point, press OK. Um, now changing the color, I want my fill to be black, OK. And I want my stroke to be none, OK? Make sure that that's set before anything starts. Now. Um, to zoom in, you go Command Plus. To zoom out, Command Minus. So get used to that, Plus, Minus. Um, just go back and forth so you know how you can zoom in or out. Okay? Um, so I'm going to go right down here. I think I might start, I'm going to start with the fun part, which are the curves. Okay? Um, so what we're doing now get that stylus where you want it, is um, we are outlining all the main curves. Okay, and um, do your best to sort of follow that line. If it is slightly off, it's not the end of the world. Remember, the photo is just the model to help us and it might end up looking a little different but who's gonna know no one's gonna look at the photo 
You know, it just has to have a resemblance. Okay, so uh, I made a tiny little error earlier. I had this layer locked and then I was trying to color it and it wasn't working. So make sure that you unlock that layer if for some reason you clicked on that. Make sure the outline is on top of the color layer templates on the bottom. So that's the layout of your layers. Okay, I'm going to move my screen recording on the side. Um, so now I'm ready. Uh, so what I'm going to do, remember command plus to zoom in, command minus to zoom out. So I'm zooming in just a bit and I'm going to start now with my um, the, the pencil tool. Okay, the pencil tool is what we're going to use to fill in our outline shape and we're doing this on the color layer. So make sure that's selected. So double clicking pencil tool, um, have fill new pencil strokes, uncheck these other two boxes. You just want the top one, fill new pencil strokes, checked. Okay, press OK. Now over here we want to change our color. You choose the flavor of your ice cream, okay, if you want, I mean, you you can choose it. I'm going for um, like a nice strawberry, okay, a pink, um, and I'm ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is get my stylus all lined up, and the main thing is that when you are outlining, you're gonna see this green line, and you just wanna outline as best as you can inside the black line, right? So we're following that line and we're just gonna do this by shapes. I find that this is easiest for me because I feel like I have more control to just do this in shapes. If you wanna do the whole shape at one time, you can do that. But um, I sort of prefer to do shape by shape. And if you go out of the lines a little bit, that's okay, that's an easy thing to clean up later. Don't worry about it now. Just keep going. So at this point, my ice cream is finished. Okay, so little things that you want to erase. Okay, go to the outline layer. Zoom in. Um, you will, you know, you might see actually areas in the color. Like I see here that I've actually left that blank, so I want to just make sure I get that. Okay, um, check my areas. Ooh, that's also blank. So it's a good thing to just like recheck it. Remember when when you're doing this for your final one, you do want it to look pretty good. Okay, and here I can see I go out of the lines pretty obviously. Um, so I'm going to double click my eraser, sure that's fine, and um, just erase that, go down here, I'm going to go on my outline layer, that's what's so weird, when I'm on my outline layer and I erase, Erases my color. I'm not sure why. I'll figure that out. If you guys know, tell me. Um, okay, I'm just cleaning it up. Just a little bit more to clean up on this side. So it's interesting. I'm noticing that the eraser erases everything. I'm not sure why. It might be some eraser setting. I don't know. Like I said, I'm new to this too. Um, oh, I have a white spot there. I do not want that. So if I have to fill that in, let's say something happens like that, I have to fill it in. Okay, I'm going to go to this eyedropper tool. This is a very cool tool. What it does it, is it will get that exact same color. Okay. Um, and now I can fill it in. Okay, so the eyedropper finds that exact color that you used previously. That's a good tool to know about. So now this is looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm just going to go File, Save. 
So I want to save the Illustrator file replace, okay? Yes, and then I also want to save it as a, save as JPEG. Oops, hold on. Cancel. Save as. Ooh, I think we have to export. Sorry, still learning all this. Okay, export it as a PNG. Export. Background transparent. Okay, I'm notice that I'm hiding the template. And I saw when I exported it, hiding the template, it's all transparent. And that's what I want. So that's important to know. Hide the template. 500 PPI, that's very high, which is excellent because that's going to help us with the printing and make sure it's clear. Background is transparent. Okay. And so now we have that saved as a PNG file. Let that save. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to click on my desktop and there it is. There's my gorgeous ice cream. Beautiful. Okay, so the background is gray because it is transparent. That's what we want. We want that when we send it to the printer so our background is not white, it's actually transparent.